Crime Fighters. I'm Ray, Ray the DA and this is Straight Talk. You know, I've subscribed to newspapers for all of my adult life. And the reasons I subscribe to them have changed over the years. These days I subscribe for a couple of reasons. First, believe it or not, it's for opposition research. The papers I subscribe to are pretty much loud and proud about their anti-death penalty stance for the very worst murderers in Kentucky. For that matter, they're pretty much anti-punishment for lots of lawbreakers. Through their editorials and agenda-driven news articles, they enthusiastically do their very best to tell policymakers and our elected officials how they should do their jobs and what laws they should pass. So it's good to see what the criminal-friendly crowd is up to and what they are lobbying the legislature to do. The second reason I subscribe is to one of the newspapers in particular is that my wife really loves their scene section every Sunday. She always likes to know what the KET TV programs will be next week. So, what I have learned from them lately? Well, I've learned that the word reform apparently has two different meanings these days. How you interpret reform seems to be based on your perspective. Reform. The criminal justice system is just an example I'm talking about today. On one hand, to incarcerated criminals, public defenders, and some elected types, and one of the newspapers, they believe reform means let more people out of prison or jail. On the other hand, most Kentuckians to us, reform does not mean let more criminals out of prisons and jails. You see, uh, letting convicted criminals out of prison or not sending them to prison or jail at all is not an improvement in our minds. And that, in, in the minds of most folks, simply makes things worse, more dangerous. And we pay a lot of taxes to our government. And we feel that public safety and security are at the top of the priority list. And it should be for the people we elect. Furthermore, we expect our government to pass laws that will do all it can to guarantee our safety and security. After all, that's what we elected them to do. As a matter of fact, these days, and under some of our present laws, lots of our citizens don't believe they're getting their tax money's worth. And they're becoming more concerned about their safety and security every day. Almost all of us believe that criminal laws should exist to protect us from crime and criminals. Unfortunately, these days, and under some of the recently passed criminal laws, it seems our laws exist to protect criminals from going to prison for crying out loud. We think our elected lawmakers have it backwards. I'm Ray the DA and this is Straight Talk. <laughs>